Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Feels like an absolute age since I played this game. It's been <laughs> been like a week or so, so I can't even remember how the hell you even play. I mean, what is this game? Is this a shooting game? I don't know. So, I can vaguely remember we were doing a Balthasar Gale army. We we're recruiting some artillery, which will be a good time. Great cannons and Hellbast Hellbaster? Hellblaster volley guns. And I believe we decided we would get a unit of handgunners um the Noln Ironsides when they become available and then the other two spaces are going to be the Demigriff Knights does that sound like what I was going to do I think it was we are building the necessary buildings to carry that out okay what's happening with our other armies Carl Franz is on the way back to replenish and no we don't have any military alliances otherwise we could replenish here that's life uh, <laughs> and then Albert, we were thinking about getting involved with Manfred and trying to just get rid of that once and for all. Now, problem is, what there's a bunch of ghosts here, <laughs> which is really not thrilling news at all. A couple of Banshees as well, and Helmand Gorst, of course. Got himself some Vargeists, and then the actual garrison has a couple of Vargeists. And Crypt Horrors, and some Black Knights, I don't know what else is behind the shield. And indeed, a couple of units of Graveguard. Generally, it's going to be a little bit shitty. Oh, now, sucks. we may well be able to just beat that, I don't know. We could go straight in, but I'm thinking instead what we will do... Is maybe just kind of roll up in there. I go where I am needed. See what's cracking, see what Eshen do this turn so i'm not going to attack this turn and then we can always go down to templehof if, if there's not an army there and burn that down and engage in the war in that that kind of direction so we've already moved carl francis turn we're already recruiting the uh, artillery here i think there's not really a lot else to do this turn i believe we don't have any money to really build anything so, uh, yeah, I want to upgrade these, but public order is still a bit sweaty. We have the growth to upgrade Null, but not the money. Because we wanted to get the uh, the menagerie and the armory. Okay, I think we can just move on. We need to crack on. Let's just uh, double check on the trade front. No. What about attitude? Does anybody... Anybody I care about... Eric Zifflin, we could get a non-aggression pact. It doesn't really matter, though, does it? None of this really matters. Let's end turn. Okay, so, while we're ending turn, I know I keep saying it now, but the DLC is on the horizon. I'm not sure what I want to do. I believe it comes out on a Wednesday. On the 14th or whatever it is. That means that, including this episode, we have, like, five episodes left, including that Wednesday... And it's a case of whether I want to do a episode on the Friday, because obviously normally I record the week before, or if when the DLC comes out, I want to immediately try and record an episode to put up on Friday to be episode one of the new DLC. I don't know. I haven't decided. But the point is, we've probably got five or six episodes left. And that's about it. Anyway, shall we confederate with Osland at this point? I really wish we could move around and look once we've been offered this. Um, because we do have the authority to do it. I don't really know what Aust Well, Ostland is kind of in the middle of all the crap, though. Hmm. Not for now. Let me see. Yeah, the thing is, is they are a bit of a front for the... Yeah, and they own this. Yeah, I'm going to get immediately dragged into a war with all the Norskins and the uh, Clan Molder here. No. <laughs> Listen, I've already got three armies and I've already got plenty that I want to try and do. I haven't even done my quest battles yet. So I don't really want to get dragged into anything else. Right, he's recruiting and you've done nothing. Brilliant. What about Templehof? Let's move a little bit closer. If we can kind of be in the middle and be able to reach either direction. Oh, Manfred's in Templehof. Well, isn't that just fantastic news? And then you're sat there with an absolutely trash army. Okay. <laughs> either we jump in or albert just waits to pounce those really are the the options what? so one more turn on these i think we can get the demigriffs now can't we yeah so we ought to get started on those because they do take three turns 
We are going to have a capacity of four of them total. Did I decide what I wanted to do in terms of combo in this army? Potentially, it wants to be the Halberds because we don't have a lot of... Well, we have no anti-large here apart from the actual Eldred's Guard. And potentially... Do any of these count as anti-large? The Great Cannons do, but that, you know, I don't really count that. The Great Swords are anti-infantry. I would love to have the regular Demigriffs. They do have devastating charge and anti-infantry and stuff. But I think for Balthazar, it's going to make more sense to have the Halberds. So let's start them going, because it is three turns. And then, oh, we can only just afford it as well. And then we're going to need to try and pick up the Null Nine sides, wherever the hell they've gone. There. When we can, well, after that. I mean, we don't need to do it immediately. We might as well not bother until these are about to finish. because, And then we need to recruit some handgunners as well. One unit. Where are they? Yeah. So they only take one turn. Um, we might as well just wait. Wait until these are about finished. And then we'll do it. Because it's just a waste of money otherwise. So with that said, again, we're probably not going to build a damn thing. We could actually do with getting in a couple of fights. Just to earn some money. If possible. Summon the Elector Counts. But at the moment, it's looking a bit fruity. I think we need to wait for developments to happen, whether they attack Eshin or, or what. We've got we've got um, Talabekland here with an army as well. They are also at war. So at any moment, they should jump in, and then I'm going to be a little pussy about it, and I'm just going to jump in afterwards. Technology. We finally got something else. We have gone for firing drills, which is done. Reload reduction time for artillery. Do we go for ammunition? I think we go missile strength, right? Multiple artillery barrels. More barrels. More chances to knock enemy blocks clean off. It's simply a matter of arithmetic. Let's get multiple artillery barrels. Ba barrels, yes. Barrels. Okay. How are we doing for prestige? We have quite a bit. I can do one. Shall we do one? And not in the sense of do one, will you? But actually in the sense of, of having a buff. What would that be? Upkeep reduction would be useful. Income from trade would be useful. How many trade agreements have we got right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh my god, loads. Surely then, it's worth getting the trade increase. Oh, well, I should have just looked at the money. Yeah, we're making 4.5k off trade. How crazy is that? So if we go ahead and get, what is it, 10%? 20%? Yeah, that should be like another 800 or so, right? Let's do this. Copy Elven trade routes. That should be. I mean, it's not, is it? <laughs> unless it doesn't fully kick in yet. I mean, unless it's like a multiplication of something else. I don't know. I don't know when that's calculated. Do you know what? I don't even care. It's fine. So, I think we're just ready to end turn again. Let's crack through some turns. Like I say, if we've only got like five episodes left, then, or whatever. I want to at least, you know... Get as much done as we can in that time. I'm not super fussed about doing something very specific. You know, I'm just having a good time. But, um... Yeah. I mean, I don't know who I'm going to play in the DLC. And I realise that now that I've been talking all this time, I won't have edited out this end turn, so I apologise. But, um... <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably Beastmen. I'm probably going to try out the Brass Bull, which actually means we're going to play a lot of the campaign in a similar area, potentially. But I'm just going to burn it all down. Hockland... I don't even know where you... See, I, I need to look at the map. What does Hockland actually own? I'm just going to say no. Where Where is Hockland? Oh, it's this one. Brasky. I mean, I could have done that. It wouldn't have been the worst thing. Is that all you own? Those two... No, you own four settlements. Where are the others? In fact, that's probably a good... But well, you own this. And where's number four? The one, two, three. Where's number four? On that. Oh, yeah. God, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could abandon it, but what a pain. I need to do this battle. Maybe we should get some quest battles done with Carl. I did talk about that, didn't I? Potential of getting back, healing up, and then doing some quest battles. I could get those other two uh, Demigriff Knights in. I could get... I know I should... Well, I did say, didn't I? I'd probably get rid of these swordsmen and get the other Imperial foot. I don't, I don't want to betray the boys. The boys have brought us this far. Oh, what's happening? Where's that army gone? Where's both armies gone? Hello? Do I get to see any of that? I don't think so. Have you been in a battle? It looks like it. What would I do? Shall I take? Oh, I can't. Wait, no, because that's... 
Yes, yeah, oh, that's a pain, isn't it? Eshin is already owned by Sterling, and then Templehof has got... I don't really want to take, like, bits of it. But I can definitely help burn it down. And I think I will. Let's just get this done. Let's start putting dents in them. Maybe I should go Templehof, actually. I've already pressed it now. Let's just do it. Let's just bring him well get rid of him. In fact, we can even auto-resolve. There's no point fighting that. I realize that I haven't fought any vampires yet, but come on. I'm just going to burn it. Somebody else will grab it. The armor of meteoric iron. Forged from a rare star metal, it is said that no mortal blade can pierce the armor of meteoric iron. Very tasty. Unfortunately, we're now going to take attrition, but only for one turn. They'll get over it. You have a skill point, sir. How are we doing? We cannot go further along the battle prayers just yet. We've got armor, melee attack, faith's bastion. So I think we were just coming down here. Uh, do I want to take wound maker? Probably. Maybe blade shield for a bit of defense. Be a bit of a tanky boy. No, screw it. Take wound maker. No retreat, no surrender. Have you got some armor? You do. Uh, uh, I think I prefer the... Meteoric Iron, 10 armor and 5% ward save against 7 melee defense and the missile parry and damage resistance temporary ability. I think I'll take the ward save. Oh, we have a potion of healing spare. Sorry, I should have already given that to you. What you got? You got stuff? Melee defense 7. Well, uh, sorry, 5 there. So I might as well upgrade yours to charm shield. I mean, I know I've not really checked anybody else's stuff. But Gelt's got, like, all of his items, right? Because the AI wasn't a complete noob. <laughs> and gathered all the items, whereas, like, Carl Franz, sadly, has still got a bunch of quests to do. <laughs> it's a bit sad, this, isn't it? <laughs> At least we have Deathclaw, right? I need to do the quests. Okay, we'll, we'll do the quests. We'll do that with Carl Franz. When he's healed up, that's the plan. Two more turns until we have those. Just keep going to keep saving money for the moment. I'm not going to build anything. So I think we can just go around again. Just double check nothing weird is happening. No kind of Norskans coming over the horizon. You're struggling there, but we're going to come up and... In fact, that's going to be Gelt's first job. Finally get rid of the Black Pit. Oh, we can upgrade Nuln, but it would cost a fair bit. Uh, no, I'm going to save for now. We'll wait because I'm also going to be swapping out a couple of things on Carl Franz. Do I want to get the Demigriffs? Maybe. What would I replace, though? If Because I don't really want to get rid of the Reichsguard, so I'm not sure. Maybe they need to go in uh, Albert's army instead. Right, what? 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 No! The Supreme Patriarch. War fails. Lovely. Ooh, you're trying to, you're trying to assault dear old Albert? You critically failed and died? Level 22 as well. That's very good. It's very good news. Good, you took Waldenhof. Excellent. I'm going to... I'm going to walk here. Oh, I can't. I don't have the movement. Okay, here. I wanted to block off reinforcements coming across if I could. Because I need. I want to encamp and just heal up a bit for a couple of turns before we go into Templehof. Where the hell... Did his armies just get crushed? Or did they move out? I was. I should have been paying attention. I think, I think they might have died. The Empire. So there we go. I mean, Sterling. We, I'm happily put Sterling in, in control of. Um, what's this called? What's this province called? Sylvania. Sylvania. I'll, I'll happily put you in control of that if it comes to it. Can you reach without campaign march? No. Go on then. We have skill points for Aunt. That's a really annoying name for me to do. Aunt. We'll call him Arnie. It's Arnie from now on. In fact, I might even change it. So, you've got Officer Squad. I started making you a little bit tanky. Could give you Missile Resistance. I think we'll just keep going there, though. Need somebody to tank in the front lines. And then we've got uh, Wolfgang. Here we were just trying to get Battle Prayers and stuff when we can. Replenish Troops we can't get the next point of yet. We've already got Hammer of Sigma. I guess we go here as well, then. And get another point of armor. And that'll be fine. Right, so one more turn. So we need to grab... Is that what, definitely what we want to do? Yeah, I, I think so. I'm going to just stick with the plan for now. Let's grab those and... These. Delicious. 
Then one more turn, we'll be ready to go. We can move out, take Weissman, give it back to Toddy for the 400th time. Give him a slap for his incompetence and then work towards the black pit. So Next turn, we can do something here. So let's get rid of you now. I'm sorry, you've been a great servant, but I think yes. at this point we really need to get them in. Kind of a waste of money to do it immediately, but I'm going to do it anyway. Finally, more than one unit of Imperial foot in Carl Francis' army. How do we feel about the demigriffs? I could do something crazy. I could get rid of the two crossbows. They have been good, though. I don't really want to... I feel like I want this infantry line. So even if we were to replace these, like, with halvers, which you really should, but I'm not. Um, I don't really want to replace them with demigriffs. I feel like we should have some, though. We already have two Reichs card. I don't know. I haven't really decided. What about... What's, hang on. Buy Sigma. I mean, I don't really know what I would replace. God. <laughs> 20 units isn't enough for me. Obviously. I, <laughs> I don't know. We won't worry about it for now. I'll tell you what. We'll just heal up and then we'll go and do the quest battle. And then we'll see. Um, then again, having them for the quest battle. Like, let, What about this one? I mean, this is just horrific. <laughs> Cairn Wraiths, vampires. We should be okay. Would the Demigriffs be helpful here? Probably. Would they be better than crossbows? Probably. Maybe I should. Maybe I should ditch the crossbows and get the Demigriffs. It's going to be a lot of kind of cavalry units, though. Eh, life's too hard. I don't know. We'll worry about it later. And by later, I mean this episode, so I can't even really escape. But there you go. So, one more turn there. You are... I mean, I could go now. Probably should, shouldn't I? What are we dealing with here? Am I going to be fighting this? I mean, I could fight it, but it's going to be a bit shit, isn't it? This might even be auto-resolvable immediately. Yeah, see, I mean... I kind of want to fight against vampires. But this is just a waste of time. I might save the fight for Drakenhof. I mean, listen, we can't... Yeah, I'm going to want to resolve. We can't fight everybody in this one campaign. I kind of want to. But listen, I'm going to play Total War for a long time, hopefully. We're going to fight a lot of races. We'll figure it out. So there we go. We have Despoiler raising multiple settlements. I won't bother to read it. We've already seen that a million times. Another camp follower. Wound recovery, time reduction. Good. Oh, and a war banner. So assigned unit, weapon strength, reload time reduction, leadership, and missile strength. So you can put it on bloody anybody, and it will do the job. Right, you should have one settlement. You do. God, I forgot about Musalon as well. What is happening? Guys. At least they got rid of the green skins, but come on. Are you at war? You're not even at war, you're just like avoiding the problem. And I realise that I've avoided problems the whole campaign. But. Come on. Rudiger. Talk to me. What are we doing, Rudiger? Was it fleet footed? No. I don't really... We got retinue, didn't we? And I think that's probably about as far as we went. At this point, we can kind of just sort of take anything, can't we? We have too much stuff. Could even take... I might even take Notorious. Just reduce leadership of enemy characters. Even though it's only by one. It's probably better to... Uh, no, tell you what. Let's get, let's get some more fighting skill. Because he might be put in melee. You never know. Okay, so that's Albert sorted. One more turn for you. Carl Franz just arrived. Let's go and spin the wheel one more time. Oh, you're not. If ever there was a bad time for this, Talabekland and Sterland. I think we just stop it, don't we? I mean, we've got 2k prestige. Just stop it. You're not doing it. Oh, this would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> but then we'd be out of prestige. Oh, I want to do it, though. It's so much money. Let's be greedy. Lobby for trade. So anyway, sorry, I didn't even read it. A representative of one of the trade guilds approaches you, asking for help in matters of trade. With some interventions on your part, new trade opportunities could arise, which would not be purely to the guild's benefit. Not be... Yeah, okay. <laughs> what is your stance on it? Let's lobby for trade, because... 25% extra income from trade is, like, I mean, we do a lot of trade. Cost us, like, the rest of our prestige. That's pretty spooky. 
We're going to do it anyway. We have so much authority. I realize I should be confederating. But fuck it. This is the way I've decided to play it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. One coughing fit over. We're back. So. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we decided to play it like that. That's what we're doing. First of all, let's take you out of March. Because it's using money. Uh, yeah. Let's just let you replenish and we'll do the battle. Sod it. I won't change any units for now. What I need you to do is at least come down a little bit. Yeah, this is going to get sweaty very quickly, isn't it? It certainly is. Okay. In camp for now. What is that replenishment? Is it because we're in that? You're not like in there, are you? It wasn't that bad before, was it? Alright. <laughs> well... <laughs> Uh, maybe it was. I don't know. Sit tight. You'll figure it out. Okay. Balthazar. Come hither. Off we go. On his wonderful steed. Oh, hello. We are going to give that back. Not for the first time. Then we're going to move this direction. Alright. We're going to get the black pit. And then we really need to attack the forest. But that is... That's going to be a little bit sweaty with just one army. <laughs> And great swords. They don't even have shields for the uh, for the archers and stuff, you know? So, I don't know. We're going to have to see how that goes. We have 10k now. So, I don't think... At the moment, now that we're kind of stable, there's no excuse not to upgrade Noln. Then we can finally get these upgraded. I should have done it already, really. And in Altdorf, what is the play? We've got a load of stuff we can build, and I've not been doing it. Tempted to get the Temple of Sigma, Shrine of Sigma. Because I would like the Sigmarite Disciples, though. I don't know where I'm going to put them at this rate. Recruitment cost reduction would be good. That's not a bad one to get, actually. Don't know. I think for the... I might just get upgrade the walls. I, I kind of want to invest in, in this province a bit more. To be fair, I haven't really looked at these, have I? I've written them off a little bit. How are you doing growth-wise? Oh, just one more point. One more turn, sorry. And then you can upgrade. Oh, okay. Well, let's I'll save for that then. I might not even do that yet because I want to upgrade this first. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm actually going to save my money just for the sake of being able to afford that next turn. Because if I if I upgrade these walls, I won't be able to afford it anymore. Or I might, but only just. So sod it. We're not going to spend anything. Our armies are done. Let's go. Stones of the Ancients. Ancient stone circles have been discovered in your state. Remnants of the old faith, which in prior age may have been involved in primitive form of nature worship and blood sacrifices. There is evidence of recent activity at these sites, indicating that there are those who still practice the dead religion. The discovery of the monoliths and their recent use is angering the recognized cults of the Empire, who always seek to subvert any elder meaning, dismissing it as backward, regressive, and a distraction from the true religions. True. Big true. In the modern day, the cults have considerable political gravitas within the Empire, so their opinions should perhaps not be overlooked. What action will you take? Right, well obviously we can't use the prestige, because I fucked that. Uh, I guess we'll just do nothing, because we have Imperial Authority for days. I'm not going to spend 2k. Let's do nothing. So, I edited it out in the end turn, but what was I going to say? I have restored my trade agreement with Toddbringer, because he asked for it. So in case you realised I hadn't done it, it has been restored. And these guys also asked for peace. Bless them. Bless their cotton socks. Are we ready to go quest battling? I think we are. I think we are. Over here, we're just going to sit tight while they get <laughs> hordes and hordes of vampires. Uh, but we're just going to sit there anyway and hope for the best. Our friends may end up going over. First things first. Can we reach Black Pit? Looks like not quite. No worries. No worries. Close enough. You are the Supreme Patriarch. I will give you that. Has Toddbringer actually, like, won a battle in the whole game? I, I, it doesn't matter. Never mind. You you just do you. So. Oh, I'm Garrison. So I need to just walk out. So, should we should we do this then? For the Silver Seal? I think we will. So we're going to be fighting vampires after all. Alright. Alright. So this is... Oh, yes. We looked at this. 
Attack rate, ward save, magic resistance, melee defense. Very good. Very, very good. So let's just move out. I command here. All right. Let's do them in. We hunt this day, yet our quarry is neither born nor dear. No, we pursue the undead. The witch hunters bring word that a vampire crone makes haste for Stirland with the silver seal in her clutches. I charge you, brave men, with not letting that vampiress get to Sylvania. For we know she is a puppet. Her strings are pulled by that cursed wretch, Von Karstein. Now, men, chase her down. Return to me what is mine, and send these Von Karstein beasts a message. By taking her head, we have brought her to bay at the center of a forsaken temple, siphoning off ill magics to power her dread spells. Have no doubt. Surround the crone. Slay the creature before she can summon her minions. By order of the Grand Theogenist, show no mercy. They are up on a hill, but we have artillery. <laughs> so, what I am going to do is shift into a slightly better position, as I can see here. Look, so we're a little bit further forward, but I want them to come to us. There are some reinforcements, mostly on this hill. It is what? Actually, it's all manner of shit. We've got cairn wraiths, we've got grave guard, got hex wraiths. There's quite a lot up here, and a mortis engine, which is grim. And then they've got reinforcements coming in, which at the moment over here seems to be mostly ghouls. In fact, is it entirely ghouls? It looks like it is entirely ghouls. But on the other side, we have got some nasty crypt horrors. The ghouls' big brothers. Over here then, back where we are. First of all, we have not seen... No, we have seen. Have we seen all of these units? I feel like we got something new. Oh no, we just got another unit of Imperial Guard, didn't we? Ha <laughs> ha! I have a brain. So... We're hoping they come to us. We have turned some of our formation. I'm keeping the Zintler's Reichsguard over here for the anti-large against these gentlemen. We've turned around a little bit. We want our handgunners to uh, shoot them. The trees are a little bit in the way. You can see now that Luther is... Actually, he's already cast a spell. We missed it. Great camera work. Great, great job, Pango. But he is hanging around to cast some more spells as they come down. And in the meantime, the Mort is firing. Hammer of the Witches is firing. Jolly good. We should be able to get a fair bit of damage done before they come over. Not bad, actually. Not bad. See the Crypt Horrors now coming forward. Hopefully they're going to be in range very shortly. In fact, yes, our handgunners have opened fire. A little bit dodgy through the trees, and they are coming around the side, but we do have our Zintler's Reichsguard in position. Shouldn't be a problem there. Bringing over other handgunners in the end, I decided to take them from the middle. Bring them over, but they actually start walking away, so they're going to allow us to freely fire at them with everything we have. Which is absolutely fine. Now, there are some of them coming into the middle, along with a load of other crap. It's going to get messy. It's going to get messy. I mean, these things in themselves... Oh, God. What is that? Aspect of the Dread Knight. Uh-oh. Gonna be. It's going to be tough. There's a lot more coming in as well. You can see we have the Shield of the Thorns on our units here, just trying to hold the line. Carl Franz, though, <laughs> has gone in to try and wipe out the leaders, because that is really what we need to do. Deathclaw getting stuck in. is going to have some spearmen, which is a bit frightening. But let's be honest, Carl Franz doesn't care. Look how much damage he's done already to that wizard. Hopefully he'll be okay. He's not taking any damage yet, but we're going to have to keep an eye on him. The spears are potentially going to be... Oh my goodness. A little bit of friendly fire in here, I imagine. 
But we have surrounded them with spearmen. And we've all oh, we've got the crossfire going. Oh ho, 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 yes. You know I love handgunners. They should be wiped out pretty soon. Halberds, handgunners, they're not gonna last. Over here we actually have the mortis engine. I don't know why it's on this flank. We're very pleased as our Zintless Reichsguard can just come and poke it to death. Shouldn't take too long. Anti-large, of course, on those units. We seem to just about be holding in the middle. There are a lot of them, and especially since the Cairn Wraiths are ethereal, it's not great. A big chunk of them over here as well. Obviously, we left a gap for our cannon. I don't know if that's a little bit too close. It's actually firing towards Karl Franz, hopefully not aiming for him. He is quite heavily surrounded at this point. Our other Reichsguard just had to get stuck into melee. Thankfully, these are not spears or anything. We're in danger of getting overwhelmed on this flank. The crit goals are coming in. There's a lot more to come. It looks like Karl Franz dipped out there just to get away from the surround. Get a bit of an overview. What What is happening? A lot is happening. You can see them all collapsing on this flank down here as well. A little bit frightening. We have brought over our Outriders though. Just to try and alleviate that a little bit. Oh, they're threatening to come into melee. And uh, oh, crossbowmen aren't safe either, but thankfully they've decided to jump in on the Reichsguard instead, allowing us to just shoot grenades into their bottoms. It's absolutely fantastic news. Carl Franz then, how are we doing? Pretty frigging well. We've actually nearly killed the army leader. Still got the other vampire to deal with. But look, oh my god, there's so many effects. What is happening? Even with the flags off, we can't see what's happening. Deathcore is so cool. I don't know. It's just cool. Oh, looks like we are indeed. Yeah, there, there, there. Yeah. <laughs> the other wizard is still up. The other vampire. And they do still have a lot of troops. I mean, look, they are starting to grind through our swordsmen. Which is rather unpleasant. We're still firing. We're going to use up all of our ammo, worth noting. Going to bring some handgunners over on the flank to try and sort that out. We're also doing the same thing here. Carl Franz dived out again before going back in. <laughs> as soon as this cryptals walk away, he's like, yep. All right, gentlemen, can we open fire? Maybe? Possibly? Any danger? Thank you. Good job as well, because these are all Graveguard. Although, to be fair, this is our uh, Sigmar's sons, and then our Imperial foot should be around here somewhere, are they? Or are they over there? They are over there. Looks like they're all actually starting to disappear now. Look, they've, the leader has died and they have fallen apart. But for a moment there, it was looking a little bit ropey. We were getting very overwhelmed, but gen generally we, we held the line. A lot of bodies. A lot of ghouls still up as well. But yeah, it looks like they're all going to disintegrate. Carl Franz is going to deal with the last of the leader. And there we go. Well, it devolved into a little bit of a mess, but we <laughs> we got through it. And I feel like we took a lot more damage than is shown on the end screen. Um, I don't know. I feel. Uh, do you like heal a little bit after the battle? I feel like you do sometimes when you win. But anyway, we'll take it. Shall we take 3k at the cost of casualty replenishment? I think we actually will on this occasion. Because we are going to be back here. The silver seal is ours. There we go. Straight into Carl Franz's pocket. Oh, and we also get the Sunmaker, Hellstorm Rocket Battery. Oh, my God. Black Lions, which are war wagons with hell blasters. Oh, hey, shit. We've got too many units. What am I going <laughs> to... What am I going to do with that? Oh, God. We need to get all these units in. There's too many good units. There's too many good units. Uh, maybe we can do some shifting around in Albert's army. Well, no. Carl Franz's army needs to change. I, I like it though. It's well balanced. <laughs> I like the balance we have. I'm so upset. Maybe, uh, maybe we could scrap the outriders. Maybe we scrap the mortars. Actually, maybe we get rid of the mortar and get the um, get the sunmaker. That would probably be a good idea. I'd like that war wagon as well, but we can't have everything. We can't have everything. I think I will. I think I will. Let's get rid of the mortar and let's get that. Straight up. Um, how are we doing with these? 
Okay, good. None of them are off cooldown, therefore nothing is my fault. Okay, good. Right. That's probably freed up an item. What did you have there before? I don't know. We'll see. Two skill points. Is it finally time to grab this? I don't know. What are we doing down here? Oh, no, we're in the middle of getting Quartermaster. Of course we are. So this is really big because now we're going to up, up, um, upkeep reduce. Yep, that's that's how the sentence is phrased. We're going to reduce upkeep by 10% for the whole army, which is really, really big. Luther has one skill point. I don't even know what we were doing with Luther, I'll be honest. We've got Potent. We've got Onslaught. We've got Experience. I think that's what we were doing. We were just getting um, bigger cooldown reduction. Probably still the play. For now. So we'll let you heal up again. And then I guess we'll have another go. What else have we got? Don't we have another one? Yeah, we've got Galmaraz at, at Blackfire Pass, isn't it? Oh, heck yeah. Let's do that as well. That's going to be a good time. Right, we've already moved you. Let's crack on. You're replenishing, but you do have a skill point. Wound maker then. Let's get another point there. What level are you now? Seven. Okay. Okay. You're cruising. You're cruising. We do have 11k. So... That's going to be done in two turns. I think we can probably get start getting these going. And then we're going to upgrade the tap room. But I'm sure we won't have a rebellion in that time. By sure, I mean not sure. Why are you sitting... Marius, why are you sitting on top of our city? Can't do anything here at the moment. Have we gone ahead the turn that I was waiting for? Yes. So let's upgrade that. And that's all of our money anyway. Six turns! Six turns. That's like a century and a half. Okay. Right, we're good. End turn. Oh my god, no no drastic pop-up. We're back above 1,000 prestige, so that's good. Yes. You probably need another... Well, should I just give you another turn to heal up? I think I will. I think I will. How are you doing? This is very scary. I'm just probably going to leave you there for the time being. We'll see what they do. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna rush into that one. You've brought an army. Granted, the Black Pit has like no. No garrisons. This should be okay. Plus 20% base weapon damage as fire damage. I guess we... I mean, I might put that on the Spearman, you know. Or maybe the Demigriff Knights. Is it a percentage, should I say? Yeah. Or... I think it's got to go on the Demigriff. I do. I do. Right, do we want to fight this or auto-resolve? I think we might fight it so we can get a look at our, <laughs> our hell blasters. Uh, and yeah, sod it. Let's squeeze it in this episode. Let's just get on with it, and then we can uh, then we can just round out the episode afterwards. This fucking map, dude. <laughs> I'd like to point out this battle was called like the the Battle of the Ancient Dragon Cave or something. Does this look like a dragon cave to you? It looks a lot like this fucking map. Anyway, right, I'm over it. I'm over it. So this is a little bit unfortunate. A lot of trees for the Wood Elves to hide in. Our artillery has very limited firing angles. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, didn't break that cannon, did it? No, good. We do have the great cannons. We've got a couple of the Hell Blasters. And we have a Luminarch. So we do have some weapons back here. Take a quick look at our uh, demigriffs because we haven't seen them yet. They are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. And of course, our great swords. Now, unfortunately, these are wood elves. A lot of them have bows. We've got great swords. They don't have uh, shields. And they're going to get shot to absolute shit rags. Let's, <laughs> let's be absolutely clear. One other thing while we're moving forward, as the wood elves have decided not to come forward, which is probably smart for them. The uh, Empire Captain, of course, had the Summon Officer Squad ability. This is the Officer Squad. Some of them have guns. Some of them do not. There they are. <laughs> That's as exciting as it gets. So, we are going to move forward. Unfortunately, Gelt can't really... He's not on a flying mount, so we can't... Can't really do a lot, apart from just chill with the army for the time being. And it's going to be a case of just trying to edge into range for our artillery. 
so that we can just kind of, I don't know, try and bait them to come forward. It's really shit. This could have been so much better for us if we just had some kind of map where we could set up shop with all of our hell blasters ready to fire over a nice angle. But sadly, we've got this bloody map. So it's not great. Trees, obstacles, bad firing angles. It is what it is. Let's see what they've got in the meantime. Much of this I cannot see during the battle. So, Glade Guard. They do look cool. You've got to admit, they do look cool. They do have some Sisters of the Thorn as well, which is very annoying because obviously our demigriffs are not going to be quick enough to chase that down. Even got the Glade Captain on a very nice looking stag. Oh, 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 the horn's been sounded. Dryads are kicking off. They've even got the uh, Regiment of Renown Dryads. Oh my goodness. Okay. This should be okay, right? I mean, they do have a few Deepwood Scouts as well. What is happening here? The Glade Lord is coming forwards. Why? Oh, you're doing this again. Oh, God. For the cannon? You bastard. I mean, the cannon did... Oh. 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 Will you be careful? Holy shit. Oh, God. <laughs> this, this is the problem. I usually leave a gap, but I thought, well, they're on a little bit of a hill, aren't they? No. <laughs> Immediately. Friendly fire. All righty. So we're setting up. We're going to move forward slightly. I know it's a bit of a slow burner. I could have started recording later, but here we are. It's too late now. I'm just hoping the null nine sides, which we'll get another look at because they're very cool. And our regular handgunners can just do a ton of damage. That is the hope. We can get some good spells off. We do have the um, magic missiles coming down, you know. I don't know how you how you reference that. And the, the dogs, the vortex of dogs. Looking a little bit dodgy. How far forward do we have to come? Okay, we have open fire, so they're probably going to start moving. I mean, not if we don't hit them. Oh, there we go. Excellent. That's going to annoy them. To be fair, that's a very good shot. Look how far away we are. Over a hill as well. All right. The battle is finally beginning, I promise. Here we come. Well, here they come. It's a lot of bows. Oh, God. What else are so annoying, aren't they? Thinking about if I'm going to play the, the Beast Men in the DLC. Oh. Beast Melves against... Uh, beast Melves? Beast Men against Wood Elves is very disappointing. Alright. Here we come then. To begin the actual battle. Five minutes after I started the commentary. Opening fire with our Hell Blasters, which is good to see. Going to get a little bit of damage in. He's far again now that I'm here. That would be handy. Thank you. How much damage is it really doing, though? Ah, a fair bit. To be fair, we don't have... Again, we don't have a very good angle, so we're not doing too much. But we are doing a fair bit of damage. So, here's where the fun begins. What do you do here? We charge, they run. <laughs> so I'm hoping they just come into range and we can shoot them back. It's not great. I'm now starting to realize that our army is very, very inefficient for the... Uh, the army we're facing. Look how much... Oh, look how much arrow fire is coming in. I mean, at least they're firing at the spearmen. They have shields. But there is a lot. Our officer squadron have opened fire. <laughs> okay. We've sent our demigriffs around to just try and do something. Obviously, they have no large units. So our, our halberds on those demigriffs are not amazing. The dryads are now starting to come forward. Getting some nice shots in, but at this point, we've got a charge. We've taken so much damage already. What is this? The curse of Arn... Arnra here. Yeah, there. Minus accuracy. Not good. Not good at all. We are getting a lot of fire in. We've done a fair bit of damage, actually. It's just... The arrow's hurt, all right? Gelt's going forward. He's actually sent the dogs in, but now we're running into the dogs. Please don't run into the dogs. Oh. That could have... Oh, God, it's still going. That could have gone better. Jesus, we've killed our... Look, they're nearly routing. At least the uh, Arnie's there. Arnie's there. Come on, guys. They don't even have their swords out, half of them. We've got great swords. Kill them. Kill them. All right, here come the demigriffs chasing down some units. They're going to take a lot of arrow fire, though. 
but at least we kind of tied somebody down. These guys are actually after what? The Glade Captain. You're not going to catch him. You're not going to catch him. Let's not even watch. It's too, it's too horrible to watch. We are bringing around the Great Souls from the flank now. Again, though, going to take a lot of arrow fire while we try and get closer. Let's get a little bit of an overview so we can just see what we're really dealing with here. It's just a, <laughs> it's a lot of Great Souls running haphazardly into the woods and being shot to absolute pieces before they even arrive. That's basically what's happening. The artillery is getting a few shots in and, you know, we'll see how many kills they get. At least this is okay. These spearmen are only just holding on, the Eldritch Guard, but we've got handgunners behind now. Unfortunately, the Regiment of Renown and some normal Tregan... Um, not Tregan. Dryads are there. These great swords are fighting against some Dryads as well. We should... I mean, the problem is, is we, we took so much damage before we even engaged. We're starting to get on top of them. Gelt's actually leading the charge, would you believe? Balthazar has seen enough of your shit. Balthazar has seen enough of your shit. Casting spells, getting pissed off. Is this where he's casting? Okay, finally. Finally, all the dogs as well. Let's start turning this bloody battle round, shall we? There we go. Uh, let it come. Looks like these demigriff knights have managed to surround a lord as well. And they are mounted, so our anti-large bonus will be coming into effect there. Oh, but we're being shot in the back by these assholes. Get on top of them. Chase them. Don't let them go. What a fucking mess. Got dryads over here. Luckily, they're a little bit confused, though. They seem to be making for the cannon. No, they've changed their mind. They've changed their mind. Well, can we shoot them then, please? Oh, they're going to get the cannon. Don't let them get the cannon. Okay. Oh. They're going to get the cannon. Well, we oh, we have we have got both units shooting. Uh, we should save it. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Over in the distance, you can see the Demi Griff still chasing that lovely old Glade captain. So we're just going <laughs> to let them continue circling the map. It looks like we're in control. Well, we're not in control at all, actually. We're taking tons of damage. But it looks like we're going to win. We're going to take a lot of casualties. Kind of unsurprisingly, when you think about it. You could run up there. All right. Good to know. But we are now chasing them away into the woods where they belong. And hopefully we can at least cut down a few on, on the way in. Artillery is still firing as well. We'll see how many kills they got, like I say. The battle is won, but not without cost. Alright, well. <laughs> the less said about how that was handled, the better. But, in my defense, I have a very bad army for Wood Elves, and that map was not, not ideal. Not ideal. So there we go. I could actually occupy this, literally, so that I can replenish. I'm going to do that, because this is its own province anyway. Oh no, Wrecker's Point also counts. Oh, fair enough. Oh well, I can just give it up later if I want to. But this will help with the replenishment, and I don't really want to walk back now. So, we have a skill point for Balthazar. So I want to get up into... I mean, it would be good to have final transmutation and stuff. I mean, this is really good as well, though. And we could get Quicksilver. Quicksilver would probably be quite a good idea. In fact, let's get Quicksilver. So that we can fly and cast some more spells early in the battle. As for Wolfgang... Don't quite have Benediction yet. We can get Armor of Righteousness or Divine Power, though, because we are level 10. Or we can get Replenished Troops. I'm probably going to get this first, to be honest. And then we'll decide with the next skill point which of those to get. So, Quicksilver, yep, great. We're going to replenish. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Black Pit. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. Whatever. Should we put, build some fields there? Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Okay. Jolly good. So, you're just going to replenish one more turn. Then we'll do the other quest battle next episode. Money, it's a little bit tight. It's not too bad. We are building a bunch of stuff, and I will want to upgrade the tap room. So I think I'll hold off, which means... Champion. And we're just replenishing there. So next episode, I think we can pretty much just end turn immediately. I will not do it now, because then I'll get carried away and probably faced with God knows what. So we'll leave it there. All right. So thank you very much for watching. All right. What? 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 Words? All right. What? 
My, my brain wanders halfway through this, <laughs> the sentence. Let's start over. Thank you very much for watching. As always, everybody, have an awesome day. I will see you next time.